This video documents a comparison between semi-gloss water-based urethane and polyaspartic. This epoxy coating is fully cured at 5 days old. An 80 grit sanding screen on a buffer will fully degloss the surface. The absence of reflection is a good indication the surface is sufficiently scuffed. After vacuuming and solvent wiping the surface, tape is used to separate the test area. The first product used is a two-component water-based urethane. Its specified finish will be a semi-gloss. It's a dip and roll product but here, because of the smaller space, it's poured and rolled. The second product used is a two-component polyaspartic. By its chemical nature, a high-gloss finish is standard. While it normally would be applied by a squeegee and back roll, here, for the same reason as the other, it's poured and rolled. Two days later, the area is inspected for its gloss. The difference between the two finishes is obvious. The water-based is reflective but lacks clarity. The polyaspartic side appears less bright, but the clarity of reflection is more distinct. The polyaspartic, because of the gloss, has more of an orange peel finish too. A comparison with the original epoxy finish shows the difference as well. And that's about it. A comparison between semi-gloss water-based urethane and polyaspartic.